Close on the heels of the venue's launch, here's Hyundai's next big launch for the festive season. This is the Grand i10 NEOS and no, it is not going to replace the current Grand i10. In fact, the NEOS comes in at almost the same price as the Grand i10 but then there are a lot of discounts on the Grand i10, at least 75,000 if not more. So is the NEOS that big a step over the Grand i10 and can the NEOS finally take on the segment leader, the Swift? Let's find out. In terms of the specifications, the wheelbase has increased slightly by around 15mm to 2450 which is identical to the Swift. So the Grand Eton Neos and the Swift share the same wheelbase but in all other key dimensions, the Eton Neos is still smaller than the Swift. Now the main question between the Swift and any of its rivals is, are they fun to drive? And in terms of the Neos, well, the driving dynamics have improved. What I'm driving right now is the 1.2 litre petrol engine. It makes 82 bhp of power. It's got good amount of torque. So you can really slot it in a higher gear. You can keep it in fifth gear and it will continue to pull without a problem. It has got uh, good torque for the city also. So it is quite stress-free, effortless and it is a refined motor. You can't hear a thing. The sound insulation of the Neos has also improved over the earlier Grand i10. So in terms of the sound deadening, in terms of the comfort also, it has become better. So overall, in all the key parameters, in all the key aspects compared to the earlier Grand i10, the Neos is a big improvement. Now, the main improvement to most buyers will be in terms of the cabin. And of course, you look at it, it is all new. So you get climate control, you get wireless charging for your phone. This is obviously the top end variant. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, you don't get inbuilt maps, but then with Google Maps, you don't really need inbuilt maps. Google Maps works the best. It is a touchscreen, responsive. It's got the new menu system that Hyundai uses across their cars, which is very intuitive. Uh, the steering wheel, if it looks familiar, well, it is because this is from the venue, uh, looks nice. I'm driving the manual right now, but both the versions, the petrol as well as the diesel, get an AMT automatic gearbox, the automated manual transmission gearbox. No conventional automatic or a CVT in the NEOS. You only get the AMT. And that has been done for cost and fuel efficiency reasons. Also, as we've experienced with the Santro, the AMT transmissions that Hyundai have actually work very well. Uh, they've reduced the head toss, which is that irritating part of the AMT transmission. They've reduced that to a fair extent. So for a car of this category, the actually the AMT does work well. The rest of the interiors, it's got this new gray fabric. Uh, it's a matter of taste, but it does make the cabin a little more airy. It's got this uh, cubby hole for the dashboard. So it is practical. You can store one liter bottles in the uh, doors. So overall, it is a sensible, intelligently designed car. And it also has a cooled glove box. So that is a good practical feature. Uh, that beeping is obviously gone above 80, so it beeps. Irritating, but all cars now get it and you got to live with that. Now, in terms of space, the Neos has become longer and wider than the earlier Grand i10. The seats have also become a little thinner, so it has liberated more space inside the car. But this is still a four-seater. Five people is going to be a squeeze because the shoulder room is not that much. And even two people in the front, you will be rubbing shoulders if you are of a little larger build. Uh, in terms of the driving position for the driver, the seat is height adjustable. It's a good driving position, good visibility, not too high. Uh, you are comfortable. The seats, the Swift seats are wider and they are a little more supportive. But for regular use, these seats are fine and they are comfortable. I've been driving the car for three hours. Yeah, three hours now and uh, it's comfortable. There's no backache. Uh, there's nothing to complain about. Ergonomics are good. The gears, the indicators, everything falls to the hand quite easily. Even the audio controls for the stereo, they fall to hand easily. So overall, it is actually a nice cabin, but it is a four-seater. It's not really a five-seater. The most important question, especially for a Evo India viewer, is, is the Neos as fun to drive as the Swift? And on that front, I have to tell you that the Swift is actually more fun to drive. Uh, it's a little more eager, a little more direct, a uh, little more enthusiastic. 
The Neos is a great city car which you can also take out onto the highways. We are driving it here on the highways and it is planted, it is stable, it does not do anything funny. There's nothing really to fault but the Swift has that spark which always puts a smile on your face. Uh, the Neos does not really have that uh, enthusiastic spark in it. So the final verdict, would I recommend the Neos over the Swift? Uh, it depends. If you are an enthusiastic driver, then the Swift is still more fun to drive. Uh, but the Neos gets a whole load more features. It is more contemporary. And I haven't mentioned the styling, but the styling is one of the standout points of the Neos. It does look like a Hyundai. It has that familiar Hyundai family look, which actually in the current uh, trend of Hyundai cars, is actually very good because the Neos is really striking this red color on our test car. It does attract a lot of eyeballs. It is a cute, fun looking car and those signature LED DRLs at the extremities of the bumper, they add a nice visual touch. So it is a nice, cool, funky looking small car. It's compact, it is nice to drive in the city, uh, very maneuverable, very easy to drive, uh, talky engine, like I mentioned again, great features. So it is a great addition to the Hyundai portfolio. I don't know about having the old Grand i10 and the Neos side by side in the portfolio, whether that will work because in India, everybody wants a new car. I don't see why you would want to save on 75,000 rupees and buy an older car. But again, that's uh, Hyundai strategy. Uh, it might work, it might not work. But overall, the Neos is another great addition to the Hyundai range.